Hey folks, how y'all doing today? I'm going to do a quick video of my new Davis uh, Vantage View Weatherlink IP. It's a, uh, it's a, like a, a Ethernet serial port cable hooked up to the, uh, my, hooked up to my uh, Davis Vantage View console. But there's my Davis Vantage View. And now I'm on Weather, weather Underground. And of course I'm on YouTube and I um, also have uh, I'm with CWAP Citizens Weather Observation Program. It is cool, y'all. Y'all check it out. We got some nice uh, southwest winds today. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got set up here, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna take a look. Here is my Davis Vantage View, but in the back of the console, there's a serial port hookup, and this will hook into it. And this is a, the Davis Weather Link, and there's a light showing you got power. And here's where the Ethernet cord comes into right there, and the Ethernet cord comes right down through here, back behind the um. TV and it goes into my Netgear my Netgear 5 port uh, switch F5 switch but it is cool y'all and I got my solar and everything else my TriStar charge controller uh, my TriStar charge controller and my Weatherlink IP hooked to that and also my internet put that from a computer and the blue the blue cable that's where it's coming from the net gear excuse me let's see if I can't yeah there you go zoom in on that little butter and that's going to my net gear right up in there yeah, let's see if we can see that if not I'll put some light on the subject here one second here there, you get that blue cable right there. The Ethernet goes to the five get, five net switch. The five um, the Ethernet five switch, Cat five five switch. But it comes in, out of there. And like I said, my charge controller, my weather IP, weather my Davis Weatherlink IP hooks into that from here. Okay, it comes from right here. Goes there. Comes down by the television right there and goes right near to my neck gear switch and it, is, it runs like a top line. that's a good thing um, but yeah but here you go I'm gonna show you what I got on my computer but it, it it records all the data for you and everything but now uh, here we go it's my okay. I can go to my my station, my site. Okay. Well, first of all, we'll go to D Davis Weatherlink IP, and you just type in Davis Weatherlink, as y'all can see here. Davis Weatherlink up here, and right here, it shows you my station. Right here. And it says viral velocity WX station. Temperature 78 degrees. And if I click that button right there, it says viral velocity WX station. 79.8, 68 degrees humidity. Uh, calm. Southwest 22.1. Um, then it's the judge the barometric pressure falling slowly. And I click on this my weather station right here damn okay it says 80 degrees high 80 degrees so far to, for the day uh, it takes a little bit of everything but yeah it's it is sweet and it's my weather station high 62 for the low wet wind west southwest 7 miles per hour for the day 
High gust, 14 no noon. 14 miles per hour, 14 miles per hour at 4:50 a.m. Humidity, 67 percent right now. And the rain, we hadn't had much any rain today, but seasonal total is 10.66 inches. And if you want to see a summary, right there you go. It tells you the day's highs, the last gust of wind, uh, everything. Chart on just about everything you want to know. Rain, rate, barometric pressure, wind, um, humidity. Oh, it is cool. All right, whoops. But anyway, uh, that is the Davis Weather Link. Um, but anyway, let's click over to here to Wonderground. And this goes through Wonderground and Citizen, Citizens Observer Watch Program. And here's Wonderground right now. Let's go to here. I'll go to my station. All right. I'll go to my station. Try to make this short sweep. Oop. One second here. I hit the wrong button. Okay. But this is Weather Underground. And yeah, you know, oh, it's it's bad to bone. Let me tell you, does does you touch a little bit of everything? Um, my weather stations. I click on right here. My weather stations. And I'll type in. I'll hit my ID, station ID. And show you what we're doing right now. What the wind's doing right now. That is cool. That is, oh, it is awesome. And it shows you um, the day's highs and it graphs everything out for you. There you go. Weather graphs. I mean, it's cool, y'all. Wind gusts, history, rainfall, everything. I mean, it just does everything. Then it's got a little picture of my weather station here. This Davis Weather Link IP. All I had to do is hooked in the Ethernet. Ethernet cable, hook it right into my net gear or my router. Always oh, and it's ready to go, ready to set up. I mean, there's nothing to it. It is bad to bone. All right, now we'll go to. The, I'll go right here to Wonderground Wonder Map. Man, y'all, uh, anybody of alternative energy or what you know, which which not, it's got to have one of these things. I mean, it just it just shows you your history, your weather. Uh, I mean, everything. But I go, I'll go right here to my, my location on the Wonderground, Wonder Map, Stafford Place. That's me. And right now it says it's 80 degrees. I click on that and tell you my, what my weather station's doing. Oh, it's cool. And south southwest at four mile per hour. And does my latitude, longitude where I'm located. And just, oh, it's it's cool. Y'all got to get get one of these. Davis Weatherlink IP, and I go to the uh, I go to my CWAP channel, Citizens Weather Observation Program through the um, NOAA. There you go. It gives you the history. It gives you um, the radar where my where, where my station's located. It gives you graphs and all your what your wind miles per hour, your temperature dew point slash dew point. Uh, your barometric pressure, your rainfall in inches, and gives you the wind distribution for the last two hours. Then for the last 120 hours, look at that. That's good when you get a, a wind turbines also. And this is showing my radar right now. And Echo Whiskey 0125 is my uh, call is my uh, CWAP number station ID but anyway I just, and here, here's a box that just came in Davis weather link IP and I got this for my Davis vantage view and there's my vantage view right there but it is bad and I got a, it's, it's a 655 internet, internet protocol version for the Windows 2000 or above yeah, it is cool. Weather link data logger. But yeah, check it out. And it was wasn't that much money. I got it from I mean online. Uh, I think it cost me around um, a couple hundred bucks. 
the 200 and some free shipping but that's what it looks like right there y'all plug right in the back of your uh, unit and it just, it's just good to go back of your vanity view console okay well y'all have a good one and thank you for watching this is KVUSMC or Virolosity um, y'all have a great one thanks for watching